Um, so next part is gonna be a elementalist. And welcome everybody to my speed leveling 1 to 69 probably here in normal and elite with the elementalist. We're gonna start out with the crucible here. Oh yeah, let's open the stash first. Yeah, I'm trying to make uh, stun jacks or rather slow jacks work as my main damage ability. Yes, that's the idea. <clears throat> What's it called? Mantle? We need a merit, we need some portions of clarity. And what are we gonna who are we gonna sign with? I mean, yeah, Tree of Life is kind of only good when you're playing Regen, but I'm not sure if it's like worth sacrificing so much stuff to go for it. And if you, if you have like the right set for it, like Pirate set for example, then it's probably actually good, or like Avenger set as well. But if you don't have those kind of sets, then... Maybe I should just grab the idea, actually. Just get only Ghoul, I mean, um, not Ghoul, Behemoth, right? Behemoth is always good on this boat, actually, because of Blast Shield, right? But like take that instead of like all the Tree of Life stuff, right? It's kind of maybe to me. Mm. So Rovers, Chosen, Coven. Okay, we need to buy some of these next time for next patch, right? Where's my metal? I think that's all, right? Rings, this, that. I mean, I can use gloves as well, right? I don't know, like, what? 20 gloves, maybe? Or 15? And maybe a demo, or. How do we even level? I mean, you guys probably don't want to see another <clears throat> Prime Strike leveling, right? Prime Strike has been done. Lots of times already, I mean, Promise Strike would probably be like one of, if not the most efficient way to do this, but I can understand it being maybe a little bit boring, right? What do you want to see? Go boom boom leveling? Yeah, we can just go like stun jacks, cocktail, <clears throat> and uh, canister bomb and stuff like that, right? And just convert everything to lightning. That should work, yeah. Seems good. Let's just do that. So, do I have any weapon that's good for that then? I was better drinker, drinker for like level 78, that's quite far away though. 58, 40, 19, and let's just use these two then. I'm gonna come back for this and it's right. Alright, seems good. I'm just gonna use this stuff.
but I need to use Elite Merit for new charm. I mean, you can just use the Ultimate Merit instead of the Elite Merit. Now the Elite Merit is useless then. The Elite Merit only exists for if you want to start a new character, but you haven't reached Ultimate on any character before that one. Or rather, you haven't um, defeated Warden Creek on Ultimate yet, right? Elite Merit looks so dumb, I mean. Don't use it then. It has its place. It, I know it's only useful for like a, a small window, I would say, in a progression phase, but. Yeah, don't use it, man. Right? Just use the ultimate one. If you have it anyway. Good old lore note hunt here. <clears throat> I'm not sure about like um, Stunjax being like good early though. Maybe we should use Cocktail before the other one. Not sure. Maybe use the Cocktail first and then Stunjax. Because hmm. Stunjax is uh, AoE kind of sucks, right? What's the pace of this game? Average time to master a class. I mean, that's up to you as a player. Um, if you're like starting out and you're good at RPGs, then I would say maybe like 30 hours. If you are not that great at RPGs, I would say anything from like 50 to 100 hours. <coughs> To like truly master a class, I mean to get like 1 to 100, that's like easier than that, but... Then depends like what you hmm, think of when you say master a class. I do mean you as a player are like skilled, <clears throat> like you know how to play it well, or just when it comes to like progression. You know, look the body you will need to fight your way. Elite nerd, why not? Did you buy elite nerds? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why'd you do that? The cocktail, right? Cocktail, this, that, this, that. Yeah, let's try the jacks as well. Let's try cocktail and jacks. So we have the cocktail, we have the jacks, and we have these two passes, right? We need the flame and flame touched. <coughs> uh, from D3. I mean, once you have like one character that has like all leveling items, like all the leveling gear, right? Um, you can do the speed leveling, th leveling that I'm doing right now. And I usually level like level 1 to 94. 94 is basically end game, like 100 is just a small bonus on top. Um, in like 6 to 7 hours. But that's like with all the experience I have, and that's also like with all the leveling gear I have. And you're not gonna get that leveling gear. 
unless you have at least one character in ultimate and also were like able to defeat a certain boss as well. And overall the pace, I mean the, the pace of the game is certainly slower than Path of Exile or Diablo 3 I would say, it's like the whole game is a little bit slower paced, but I think it's fine, I don't like PoE Suminius that much, I did play uh, quite some Diablo 3 like 6 years ago I think, that's when I played Diablo 3, uh, I certainly did enjoy combat in Diablo 3, that was pretty smooth, but like theory crafting and character building in Diablo 3 felt horrible to be honest. Like, I don't know, everything was super set centric and you couldn't really like build your own characters because like the game kind of tells you what to play, right? There are like a couple of OP sets every season now or something like that and I don't know. This game has, I would say, in general at least, better build variety than Diablo 3. And you also. Like you don't you don't get punched for trying to make your own build, right? You can make your own build and as long as you like know how to make builds, then that build will be maybe not the best whatever, but it still will be like pretty good and like the discrepancy between like the best build you can do and like the worst build you can do is not like that big. Like it's everything is balanced around one difficulty, right? The ultimate difficulty, not like we're in Diablo where we have like, I don't know. Uh, what's it even called? I don't even remember. We have like, I don't know... Is it called Torment or something like that? Torment 5, Torment 10, Torment 15 or something like that, Torment 15... Yeah, Torment something something, right? Like, Diablo 3 had so many difficulties and because of that you were kind of like supposed to play in the difficulty where like your build belongs into, right? Which also, on the other hand, might lead to... Like developers not caring too much about balancing around one difficulty and like trying to get builds kinda in line with each other. It's more like, well, if you play a bad set, then you're supposed to play at a lower difficulty, right? If you're playing a good set, then you can do higher difficulties, stuff like that, right? And yeah, Grimdor doesn't have that philosophy. I mean, if you, even if you compare like Palatis to like, I don't know, weaker, I mean, uh, stronger builds, right? Even Panetis is not as bad as... Like, Panetis compared to a good build is not like a super big discrepancy. Unless you're fighting super bosses and you're talking about retaliation which blade, I guess. But, like, most retaliation builds. Is game more balanced overall? I would say the game is pretty well balanced overall. There's... Like, some retaliation builds might be a little bit over the top right now, but yeah, other than that, the balance is pretty good. I mean, there's always gonna be like one or two OP things in every game, right? And like, game balance is never perfect, but I would say it's pretty good. How did I not get a single belt? What the uh, Next is over here, right? And yeah, the main difference between like this game and Diablo 3 is that this game doesn't have seasons, this game doesn't have multiplayer servers either, this game has only like... It's supposed to be like a mostly single player game, but there are still like some competitiveness when it comes to like clearing certain endgame content. Like, people still run certain content, and, uh... Well, there's no official ladder, but people kind of have made ladders and stuff like that. I mean, it's supposed to be like a single-player game, right? I mean, you can still play multiplayer. Old school, like, peer-to-peer, -peer, like, one guy hosts, the other guys join, right? You can still play like co-op or multiplayer, but multiplayer overall is like way easier in this game than single player, so like the game is balanced around single player 
and multiplayer is like just to have fun or like if you're unable to do certain content solo you just do it together with your friends like in multiplayer or not that's how, uh, like how it's supposed to be Yo, Plasma, how are you, man? Alright. Plasma, next time you're gonna play the guitar on stream. And I'm there, you're gonna play... Um, what's it called again? You gotta play something from Ingvi Malmsteen. That should be a proper challenge challenge for you. Welcome Naomi, how are you? And Teufel is here as well. How are you man? <laughs> Only garbage apostate is bad. Cup. <laughs> Big cup. You <laughs> messaged me in 10 years. <laughs> Fair enough, friend. Plan for Sunjax Madness? I don't know. It went pretty mad last stream. I tried to tap into health regeneration, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with that. That might be a little bit too meme. Or, like, at least not fitting for this stuff. Use this now. What? Um, the boots are out. I mean, the pants are out 20, right? Yeah. Okay. Mad as in crazy, not mad as in actually mad. Thanks, Sam Vau. Thank you for returning for some Grim Dawn. I mean, yeah, the new patch is gonna come either at the end of this month or early next month, right? So... It's pretty good timing now, I guess. Uh, what do we get, actually? We get the Widow for sure, right? Widow... Bat and Widow, maybe? Yeah, let's go for Bat first, because... I don't know about health regen for leveling, man. This may be a little bit bad. Um, but yeah, Widow for sure, offensively right, and Bat as well as... Giant defensively right? Yo, each one, teach one, how are you man? Welcome, welcome. I'm Doug, I'm God man, how are you? Dexless, hello, can you like walk up the stairs please? Yeah, usually I'm doing low core all the way to 94, exactly. I don't even remember when I didn't do it. I've been doing it for like at least two years now. No, two years? No, like one and a half years, not, not two years. Like, I've been doing low core only 1 to 94 for like one and a half years now. and yellows 
uh, blues and greens, I mean. So giant needs want. Blue and red as well, alright, so one here, and then the blues, like, get the yellow and it is so good, like every bow. Also, we have the red acorn, whoops. Let's find a right here for the mana infusion. The pants. And. Soul's touch? No, I didn't, right? Seems good enough. No, 29 bet for the poison grass. And then we're gonna switch shoulders and locker pieces, right? At level 24, I believe. I'm kinda slow though. I should put more points in the Vedicta Flame for the movement speed. Should have done a lot. Uh, it is kind of worth, but I don't know. I'm kind of lazy to do it, and also it does cost another pot. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, usually I would suggest people to do it. Will I play Grim Dawn after Grim Dawn two release? Dude, that's like asking me what do I want to have on my. I don't know. That's like, who would I vote to for president in like 10 years? That's like, kind of the same kind of question, right? Like, Grimdon 2 is gonna come when? Like in 5 years, maybe? 10 years? I don't know. Would I be playing Grimdon 1 back? Like, at that point? I have no idea, dude. I cannot answer that. Exactly right. <laughs> Same kind of question, the record. I mean, hopefully, I will have finished my studies. It's about time, right? In five years for sure. Hopefully, I will have like a good job. I don't know. Hopefully, I will still be able to stream every now and then. Maybe even maybe streaming will be my job, but I don't know. It's not that worth it, kinda. Unless you have like lots of viewers.
How old am I right now? I am... 69 minus 42. Yo, Care Bay, how are you, man? Come on. I don't know. I'll send you more green. But I can get giant now. Right? Alright, let's get giant. And let's get the other local set. And then we can do time barons. Right? Yo, mechanical engineer, how you man? Welcome, welcome. I need some time to plan our strategy. How much scrap do I have? One scrap? What the fuck? Alright, let's get some scrap from. Uh, Stash here. Greeting. Yo, Slayer, welcome on, welcome on. Eternal student. <laughs> I I don't plan on doing that. Like I don't. Like if I, I mean, like ideally, I would have been finished by now already. But yeah, some things didn't go as planned. Scrap. Let's go, scrap. I mean, I wish I was working already, honestly. Like properly working. But that uh, well. What am I studying? I'm uh, studying biochemical engineering right now. I mean once I'm finished it should be easy to get a job. But yeah, finishing is not like the easiest thing. <laughs> At least when you're lazy and Streaming too much and playing games like all your life. <laughs> I mean, if I wasn't streaming, I would probably like still play too many games. So, fuck studying, we just become a tree. Math for like seven years now. Dude, I also studied math. Like I studied math for like one year. Then I started uh, studying biochemistry for like four years. Then chemistry for one year and now biochemistry. I mean biochemical engineering, yeah. <laughs> Quite a journey. Yeah, I, I should. I kind of wish I should have. Um, I could have also like studied physics, I guess. But I mean, that wouldn't make things easier, I guess. I mean, yeah, probably not. Who am I kidding? Physics is not easy to study. I mean, I was good at physics, like in school, but or like even like the physics uh, courses that I have now, or like that I had while studying chemistry, those were like super easy for me. At least easier than the rest. But yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Studying mouth was like failing to commit suicide. <laughs> nice. Good luck with that job interview. Yeah, I mean, thanks. <laughs> Okay. 
Kette. People will understand, hopefully, somehow. We'll see. Bald from 22 on. Random seed, thanks for the follow. Welcome on, welcome on. I think I need like Granado on top front, this is not enough single target dodge. Let me get the Granado here. Need that for some additional single target here. Watch the YouTube videos for a month now? Nice. Glad you enjoyed them and yeah. Glad you could make it to the stream as well. Welcome, welcome. This is where the magic happens, right? Or this is where you see me rip and you can kick W in chat. Or rather scoff W right now. Maybe also equip Granada, right? Otherwise, it's not gonna deal any damage. Uh, so, where the fuck is the entrance again? Uh, that's not it. Maybe it's over here then. There's 99 chance I'm not visit the next time because of my emote? Come on, dude. You can't hit it that badly. Instead of Kay Kona to make up for it, right? Like just me for the baseball cap. Even like a item that supports stun jacks while leveling. What can we have? What, what can I farm for? I mean, yeah, Overseer's Eye, right? Overseer's Eye is good actually. But what else? I guess we just gotta get a Overseer's Eye, right? I mean, it should be easy to get one in Elite. <coughs> I guess. Elite Act 1, right? Should be easy to get. And then for the weapon, what? Like a Kovax uh, Stormblade, whatever it's called. Which I could get here in normal, actually. Hmm.
egg trolley. I mean, I'm pretty certain Stunjax is not the best leveling ability, right? But if we don't try it, we'll never know, right? I'm gonna go for Ozzy and Chosen pretty soon, pretty quickly, I think. Like, Chosen is really good, actually. Yeah, now we can get the Widow, right? Okay. So, Widow into... Widow into Tempest, and for Tempest I need Wraith, so like, yeah, Widow, Tempest, I mean Widow, Wraith, Harvestman, Scythe, for Scythe I need like a Panther though, or Lotus, right? Yeah, Tempest is kind of a long way. Unless we don't play Scythe and play, um, like Elemental Storm instead. Do we want to play Elemental Storm? I mean, I guess. I could get rid of Blackfoot or Cocktail completely done. Yeah, we could go like triple. Ozone's chosen grenades, right? Just use like Sunjax, Canister Bomb, and Granada. No cocktail. For leveling at least. Get the flat RR from the Metal Storm instead. I mean, that seems interesting actually. Minus OA is good though, yeah. Minus OA is not bad for leveling, definitely. That's true, that's true. I also it would be like physical damage reduction, right? Which uh, is pretty good in ultimate as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. This one is also really, really good, agonizing flames. I mean, right now. Not once we have the other stuff. But we don't have Elemental Storm yet, so I mean, unless we... Like, until we have Elemental Storm, we're definitely gonna use Ekanaz on Flames, right? Yo, Limeace, welcome in, welcome in, how are you, man? HP regen Elementalist. Um, I'm kinda undecided still on the actual... Like, Devotion Power thing for Endgame. 
and like skill points as well. I mean, it's gonna be a Storm Run Elementalist, that's for sure. It's gonna be a Sunjax Storm Elementalist. It's like Storm Run Elementalist. But if it's gonna be HP regen focused or just like standard bat and giant only, that the room. I don't know, we'll see. I'm leaning more towards just getting like bounce and um, joint to be honest. Because after seeing what other people could achieve with elementalists when they go for example with Pyron set, I don't think my values are actually that good. Not Promise Strike? I mean, Promise Strike would probably be the very fastest way, yeah. But uh, we decided to go with Demolitionist leveling here today. And uh, try some like Stun Jacks and Grenades leveling instead. Which is maybe a little bit slower, but it fits the theme a little bit more, right? From strike and pure ramp. <laughs> I mean, both work for leveling for sure. Even pure ramp can work. It was kind of slow, but it can work, yeah. Three minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'll be here for. Another three hours at least. Alright, finally the poison rest belt. Poison rest is fixed. Oh, cool, I'm probably struck in final build. I mean, yeah, if I don't go for the health regen version, then probably, yeah. Um, the problem with, like, um, promise strike is that... It kinda doesn't fit too well with slow jacks together, right? Slow jack seems very good for kiting, and I mean, promise strike is a many ability, right? Because of that, it doesn't seem that well for kiting, but... We'll see. Maybe I am gonna use Promise Strike after all. It's like, I don't know, 1, 0, maxed or something like that, right? Alright, next is in the Sunbane Oasis, right? Should pick Mortal Trap for leveling. Wait, isn't Mortal Trap kinda not that great for leveling? But you have to like stand still for motor trap leveling. Because it's kinda slow, like your projectiles are kinda slow. Just use it. Just use all the skills. I don't I mean I don't mind playing a motor trap build at some point in the future and also leveling that build with motor trap down, but it doesn't really fit this one. Okay, we'll go level 100 demolitionist and no shaman at all. No, man. Not with Loker set.
up next. How oh, those skills to use? Use all of the skills. Just use all of them. Forty-two votes. Oh, you mean the other... The second poll? Try something else, it's so easy for you to level. I mean, I'm trying stun jacks right now, that's like something else, kinda. Or like, what do you want me to try? I mean, my goal is still to like, try to make a viable endgame bow for like, every class, which... Should be possible, obviously, but... It's gonna be the ending game build, I mean... Something like this. Not necessarily exactly that. Yo, Mike, welcome in. How are you? Level Retaliation? I might as well just uninstall the game then. Like, why would you level with Retaliation, dude? <laughs> That's... I mean... It's so fucking Resident Sleeper, right? Sure, it's safe, but... Oh yeah, how's your, how's your character, by the way? You said you are gonna rip, but I guess you didn't. Otherwise, people would have sent me a clip. One mastery level 100? How about zero masteries level 100? What's wrong with this arcane man? Why is he so tanky? Wait, what level are you right now? Like level 90? 93? 94? 91? Nice dude. You're almost there man. Fat scuff level. <laughs> uh, I love it. How do you like? I don't know why Twitch sorts them this way, right? <laughs> it's always fat scuff. Fat scuff. Yeah, I, I, I imagine exactly that happening. Probably because, like, the one you uploaded last got approved first, right? So, yeah, like, like, what's gonna do, right? Like, it's not on you to design it. I mean, you could, like, you could, like, only... You could have done, like, only the scuff, right? Like, wait a week until only scuff gets approved and, like, Put in Fed X, or whatever it's supposed to be. Fed, Fed, uh, sad smiling, right? But I mean, then we, we would have like at least one week with like only scuff without Fed, right, in your stream. I'm not sure if that's like the right way to do it either. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go with me now, right? Exactly. Right, what do I miss? Like five skills. I mean, it's five. Uh, we're gonna get two here. 
want an AG, I mean not an AG, but like an uh, Bog. Or rather, in the Gloom Bog. I'm missing like one somewhere, I think. Maybe not. I mean, nevertheless, I should start leveling those right, what am I doing? And... what do I need for this? Purple. Wait, 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 what do I got here? What do I use for purple? I wanted to use Scythe, right? But Scythe also needs purple. Oh yeah, Wraith, right? Wraith is the first step. Federation scuffed. Oh. May I move, please? Thank you. Did I get a Kovrox blade actually? I didn't run it. Of course not. Um, I could run the tomb though, right? The tomb of the whatever it's called. Bartholomew. No, what's it called? Uh, Eldritch Sun, right? I could run that tomb actually. Because there's still one shrine in there, and I could get like a Kovrox stone blade there, right? Not sure if that's like worth the extra time in this one, but let's try it. Right. If we go stone jacks, we should go like full stone jacks, right? Yeah, right, whatever. Uh, let's go back to these guys actually as well. Do you ever fucking rip while leveling? I mean, yeah, I did sometimes. I mean, I just. Check out my purifier reps, right? Or... I mean, my deceiver rep as well, right? I ripped at level 1. <laughs> I ripped to... what's it called? Malkadar, right? I mean, uh, yeah, that was a purifier, right? So what is this? Chaos on Bleed? Like, what do we have here? A bit in the Aether, that's... Probably better, I was gonna say, but maybe not. Alright, this one is supposed to stun jacks. Because of, of Squall's suffix, right? Let's go with that, even though I'm gonna lose more Chaos Rats. We go for we go for wait 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 how why did I how did I wait really how did I not get the shrine oh my fucking god oh well wow. <laughs> uh that's the wrong one though. Don't miss shrines, guys. That's bad. Oh, that's gonna be another shrine in here for me, and um, hopefully I'm also gonna get like a Kovax Stormblade from like guys that wield a Stormblade. And all of these have no Stormblades, so I 
gonna have to kill them. Walking the wrong way as well, what the heck. TOS clip. I mean, that's not what I said, but... If you read that first, you can kinda hear it, that's true. Sigarius has no Stormblades either, so I'm just gonna skip him. As the burning ones, those are useless for me right now. Dude, none of these have lightning swords. What is this? Hello? Are you kidding me? There's really no Ascendant or Rage Flame or whatever they're called has a lightning one so far. The fuck? Do they show? I think they should show, right? Yeah, they have nothing. Oh, well, maybe in the second part here. Yeah. None of these for sure. Ah, that's the burning blade. No. It's not the storm blade. Dude, the last time I was I was here, I was on my petty fighter hunt, and on that one I needed the burning blade, but I found like three stone blades before finding a single burning blade, right? And now it's like the other way around, probably. Blade bridge. Not a single one, dude. What the heck? Maybe there's gonna be an elite here from the shrine. It has it, hopefully. No. Okay. Guess we're not getting the storm blade now. Yeah, another burning blade, really. Yeah, no stone blades here either, right? I'm not gonna try to kill Father Common, no. It's not worth it at all. Alright, let's go back to Blue Vault here, get the shine here as well. Work for the one on the necropolis or not 28 28 so for the yellows I need um, like one point here in lotus for example or panther that's it's got it right Easy to go to.
Uh, the only problem is that I probably killed too many enemies here and there's not too many people left. Like, not too many enemies left to Shadow Strike to not. Oh, there's still some. That's fine. Mind blast clips. Oh yeah, I saw them already. <laughs> Pretty good ones. To elite. And hopefully in Elite I'm gonna at least get a Overseer's Eye around. That's what I need. Should reach 94 today. No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna reach like 69 today, as always. Or I'm just gonna die, I mean, that can always happen, right? Can also just die instead. I mean, we can definitely die with those Pierce Rants, right? But I mean, luckily we are still playing Act 1 and not Act 2. So we're still kinda. Uh, oops, that was the wrong order. Oh, well. Still kinda fun. Yo, Shim, welcome on, welcome on, how are you? I'm doing good. Leveling a elemental list right now. Or like, rather, it's like solo demo right now, but it's gonna be an elem elemental list later on. <clears throat> I might as well just like put one point at the shaman. Already like make an elementalist. Yeah, at least we're gonna speed level this to 94. Um like today and on the next stream, right? On Wednesday. But I'm not quite sure if I can like finish it because I don't have a storm run yet. I kinda need to find some more totems to get it, right? It shouldn't be like super hard to do it. I think like one day of like only farming totems should do it, right? Yeah, that's uh, slow jacks. So like sun jacks without the transmitter. It's like the main damage ability basically. And then, um, I mean, maybe promise strike on top. Maybe not. I don't know quite yet. And uh, wind devils, obviously. But yeah, mainly like s slow jacks and wind devils. Yo, six doors are down. Welcome in, welcome in.
Uh, I could also get the ring. Right? The ring would be pretty good. Not against Pierce, but against everything else, I guess. We just got a backtrack for the three zombies here as well as Milton Heart, and then um, we can also go for the, the ring. We got the five, five necklaces, right? I only need uh, three, I believe, but you know, five will do as well, obviously. I should also get Thermite Mind like 10 points later, right? Or like pretty soon, actually. Reckoning Oppressor, nice. Are you playing Physical, Aether or Vitality? Aether, nice. This guy's kinda tanky, right? Also not dealing like enough damage, I feel like. Full spread is not really that high level yet, right? I would kinda have to like get items that give me bonuses to full spread, right? Hmm. I mean, the Overseer's Eye Shield round give me some bonuses for first plan, I believe. So, what do I want here? I want this, I want this. And I want this, right? I want the internal trauma up, I want... I kinda want everything here, right? I want everything in Granada and then... Get a Kaiman's Metal probably. Also we got the ring, right? The ring is a level 45 ring on Elite though. There it is. Uh, than my reading skills. 
I think it could be okay if you have like actual skill bonuses to it, but yeah, I'm not even sure what gives me like skill bonuses to full spread, so. <clears throat> That's also why I'm like using Granada as a backup plan, right? I mean, only have like one punch just now, but should get like more points here probably. Four more leaps. More leaps. <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, you said Aether Oppressor? Oh, yeah. You actually the the reading skills one wrecked by Protoss zero right level fast jacks which is fine. I mean if fast jacks is fine then slow jacks should be fine as well to be honest because like for slow jacks they don't have to stand set on it. I mean, sure, against bosses that's kind of bad though. Against bosses, fast checks should be, like, quick checks should be quicker, obviously. But yeah, if quick checks is quick enough, then slow checks should be as well. Because for everything that is not a boss, you can just click and run, right? Like, what does this do? It, like, reduces damage by a lot, right? Hmm. Not sure, though. Zero point five, zero point five. I'll take that. I'll take a tie. Oh wait, I forgot the one in Burial Cave again, right? On normal. I don't know why I'm forgetting about that cave, like, literally every time. Oh, maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. Right? Or did I? I don't know even more. I don't even know what I did like half an hour here. Half an hour ago here in stream. I certainly didn't read the chat like half an hour ago though. Um, let's get Angram here. Alright. And let's also get the shrine down here in the Burial Hill 2.0 or whatever it's called. And it's like the same burial cave as the other one, right? The tree has the same name, right? Or does it not have the same name? Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so this is maxed. Um, yeah, I kinda need to max Granada, right? otherwise I have no damage. Yo, Zerto Zelan, how are you, man? Welcome on, welcome on. How are the <clears throat> Steps of Torment doing? I'm still doing a good job protecting the gates. On cooldown. Whoops, I should have known about that. Oops. <laughs> Monkas. Oopsie day this. Yeah. Should not engage them like that with the flush on cooldown, right? 
That was kind of bad. <laughs> I knew you had one job. Yeah, I had one job as well, like not to charge in without blast you that. That's kind of not how you should do it. Oh yeah, let's fight some time warp at level 35, or like 38 rather. That's always fun. Boss in this cave here. Wait, does he even spawn like all the time? I mean, yeah, he has tears damage, right? No way I'm gonna kill him. And if I had like full tears damage, I mean, full pierce runs, I would actually try, but. Not what those pierce runs. Hey, he he's like uh, the guy in he's like Blood Feast, right? In Tyrant's Soul, so he probably has some pierce damage. I'm pretty certain about it. Should have like some bleeds and pierce and some other stuff, I guess. But mostly like physical bleed and pierce, probably. Yo, Kree, welcome on, welcome on. How are you? <laughs> Dude, Ground Zero has like two level 100s now. I mean, he almost like died to Gargoyle because he. Well, got hit by volcanoes, but. He didn't actually die, so yeah. <laughs> Ground Zero make you look back. <laughs> uh, Tech W, man. Or rather, Skull of W, right? Right, where are all the... Oh. Where are the fabrics? There's one here, one in there, and where's the third one? I don't know. Oh, here? No, in here. There it is. Okay. First day in work, after two months. Alright. I mean, that's, uh, that's a good thing, I guess. I'm doing good so far. I mean, university is still closed and I'm still like having classes from at from home. But yeah, also my old work still hasn't opened like we opened yet. It's alright. I got the stream. I got you guys. Right, doing well. Yeah, these guys, um, actually, like, the, these Flash Warp Butchers and, like, their Elites and also the guys I fought earlier, right, they actually have some Pierce damage, I think. Like, there is pretty much no Pierce damage at all in Act 1, except for Krieg, right? Uh, like, the, the, uh, the projectiles of Krieg and those, um, Butchers, right? So you can kind of get away with, like, low Pierce runs in Act 1. You only need to max um, Pierce runs for Act 2. As long as you don't get hit by those enemies, right? Yeah, yeah. Same here. Corona, Corona. Masharona. Oh, 
am I even doing this? I could just teleport now. Alright, so we did everything pre Krieg. Best X Shaco one trip pony streamer. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the resub with the prime by mace. Thank you man, very much appreciate it. Enjoy the new score of W. <laughs> Shaco one trick point. We gotta kill all these eyes, right? For the overseer's eye. I don't really need zero damage to that guy, I don't know. What's wrong here? I would deal zero damage. Money. Because Sanjax is bad, maybe for leveling. Oh, here we go. Some damage now. Oh, there's an Overseer Zone. There we go. It's like of corrosion and has like what Necromancers of corrosion. That's like completely terrible. But at least we have one. But now I don't have the spirit to wear it. Nice. Good thing I always put everything into the secret. Right? Um, hmm. Yeah, I should get some spirit. Welcome in, Rock Climber. What's Shaco? Shaco of Corona. Shaco is like a jungle champion in League of Legends. That I never played. But somehow people think I'm like a Shaco one trip pony. I had a good friend who was like a avid. Do you say that's a avid? Avid? I don't know how to pronounce that word. It was like a Shaco player fan. Yeah, good thing I put another point in physique. What the heck is wrong with me? Um, let's get some sh spirit through Shaman maybe? I need 359, man. It's like another 70 spirit. How the fuck do I get 70 spirit? What are the part principles? Um, I need some time. I'm not 100% sure what you're asking, uh, Zelda Zen, actually. To me, in this build, like the principle of this build, or the principles of League of Legends, or like Grandom, or. I need like 40 more spirit. Oh well. Nalfin, thanks for the follow. Welcome on, welcome on. I'm gonna die to spiders here, but heck, no, of course not. But... Yeah, man, actually, I, I gotta thank you guys, or like everybody who followed me on YouTube as well. Or like subscribed me on YouTube, I think, like, that's the same, right? Subscribing to YouTube is like the same as following me on Twitch. Anyways, I mean, I just hit like. Actually, over 2000 now. It's like 2004. Uh, it was like 30 less yesterday or something. I guess the Arcanist video 
was quite popular today, or like yesterday as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought I could like prepare a, I don't know, thank you for 2k subs video in advance, but well, let's move a little bit too fast now. Full time streamer. If I got partnered, maybe, 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 maybe. If not, then definitely not. <laughs> react to 2k fans. I'm gonna react. I'm gonna react so hard now. No. It's gonna be just a thank you. Um, I don't know. I don't really have like too much time for other, I don't know, like meme reaction videos and stuff like that. I still have like, a pretty tight schedule when it comes to my GT Basics videos I wanna do. And I still have like one more mastery leveling video to do, right, for Oathkeeper. I did like every class now except for Oathkeeper, I think. And uh, people were asking me to do like a video about components, right? So there's still that, also like for maths farming. I wanted to do that like half a year ago, man. Kinda. It's only so much time, right? <laughs> Kay Hanna, Lisa. <laughs> oh, God. Did I get my webcam? No, not yet. This is still my subscriber's webcam. My webcam still hasn't been sent. But yeah, I should just go to the, sh to the, to the shop now, right? Like, shops are open, I think. And I'm just not going outside even though shops are open. I'm that kind of guy who doesn't go outside even though people are allowed to go outside again. I should just go outside, I guess. The circus will come back. It's not circus, but... Yeah, I should just buy one, like... Cancel my Amazon um, order on it. No, we need the uh, spirit mat. So all the points go to the master bar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know the prices, kinda. So I'm not gonna try to pay too much. No. I mean, the one, the the price I've had on Amazon was pretty good. So. I kind of wanted to wait for the one from Amazon, but oh well, it's not it's not arriving. Still not arriving. Peace and chaos. And I need the spell though. I just need it. Chaos and victory. The flame. I mean, this one is not too bad actually. So it's trash. No resistances. What about this spell? No. We have here. <clears throat> Elemental? No. This one has Aether Res, that's pretty interesting actually. But I kinda need the Elemental Res on this map. Pierce. I mean, yeah, you can kind of get away with like not having Pierce and Chaos and Act One, right? You absolutely need Pierce for Act Two, though, and you absolutely need Chaos for like the second part of Act Three. But yeah, before that, you don't really need uh, Chaos Rust. What do you want? Let's just kill him, right? Alright, we can use this one now. We can also use a emerald on here to get more 
better at, right? Um, still need my spirit, what the heck, dude? Alright, finally. I just put everything into spirit, I guess. And then we're gonna use this one, right? And this one for the Peters, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that's one of all the peers, right? And this one gives you spirit. What the heck, really? Oh my god. Text. Can I get away with 77 elemental? I guess I could, right? Should be alright. Um, I could craft a relic, right? I could craft like the ray. Or something like that, right? Isn't there like a demo relic? Conflagration, right? This one has elemental rest. Okay, that's actually perfect. So, Ruination, Inferno, Calamity, and Flint. Ruination, Calamity, Inferno, right? And a Flint. We need a couple of these anyway, right? Configuration, there we go. Plus one demo activated. I need a weapon though, like, I don't have a single weapon, right? What is this? I kinda still need the bird for poison rust, right? I mean, I could use the polished emerald here. Yeah, I'm fine now. Okay. This works. 74 Aether. Uh, and let's just get a soul shard then, right? Where's the soul shard? Turn back quest by killing the Rainy, maximum disrespect. Nice. Can provide some straw picks. <laughs> oh, mega low. Love it. And I need a mel like any melee weapon, right? Just any will do, actually. Yeah, let's just use uh, Devil's Crusher. I've never used this item before. Let's just use it. Put this one back here as well. And I think we're good to go, right? Oh no, Soul Shard, craft a Soul Shard, Soul... What's it called? That's not Soul Shard, uh, something with Aether Restaurant. Aether Soul, there we go. Three Wrath Stones for that one. Aether Soul. Put this one over here. Aether Rest Max. We could also like, use Purified Salt, right? What am I doing? Purified salt and one silver. If I want to get rid of my energy, I can use conflagration now, right? But it's probably not going to be that good, right? Because I'm just going to get rid of my energy this way. 
it's probably not worth it. Unless I have like more energy, but I don't want. All right, the warden killed him. Which one do you absolutely need to overcap for endgame? Elemental kills and Aether Rust. Um, also Vitality and Poison, kinda. I mean, maybe not Vitality that- I mean, maybe not Poison that badly, but Vitality for sure. It's pretty strong. Yeah, I guess it's pretty strong if you actually scale fire damage, right? But I'm not scaling fire damage at all. Also, I should probably like use some actual uh, devotions here, right? What else I say? Lotus, right? Lotus and then this one and then Tempest. I think so. That was the idea. At least, if we're trying to do the health regen stuff, but I don't think that's gonna happen actually. Right. I mean, I'm gonna level like those for now, and I'll maybe switch it around later. I can once there. Warrants. Uh, warrants are the ones that you get from ne uh, Nemesis, right? No, I don't care too much about those, to be honest. I don't. I only have the one for um, beasts right now as well. Like farming Nemesis in main campaign is kind of. I don't know, not that very efficient anyway. So you don't really need them that badly. Like killing nemesis with enemies is like, sure, it's nice to have if you. Especially like Kubakabra is nice to have because Kubakabra will be there whenever you run for blooms, right? But other than that, I mean, you don't meet them anyway, like. Except for maybe like Vadra and Podlabri and Musalaki and Steps of Torment and. Benjar and. That, uh. Bastion of Chaos, right? I mean, Beast is easy because of Blooms and also because like Beasts are literally everywhere on the game, right? I don't really need that like lightning resist reduction now from the Thermite Mines, right? Still don't have that. That's why the skill speed is kinda super slow. This isn't Pew. <laughs> Why is he not casting that? Come on. Tiny angry gnome, welcome on, welcome on. Please help. Alright, we're gonna have you in a sec. Get the Jewel of the Royal Crown, that one's actually pretty good. Is it fit for wardens to feed his We have max tiers, 70%, that's not quite max. 
Uh, that's like 50% too much damage, right? 4 Act 2, kinda. Um, how do I get more Pierce Dress? I guess I don't right now. I need to like get the 50 to like use different gloves. Alright, let's check out your repel until then. And let's continue here. We're gonna start Act 2, right? I still kinda want more of Pierce Dress, but. I need to wait until I have my level 50 amulet, right? The Everest of Andrionis is like... So I need more scrap, what the hell? <laughs> Jade Brigade, what? Where's Lamaze? Yeah, where's Lamaze indeed when you need the Weeby modes, right? Yo, Cindy, how are you, man? Welcome, man, welcome, man. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Wait, are you still... are you two still playing Grim Dawn? Are you still playing Grim Dawn every now and then? That's great, man. If you are. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. And I hope... Um, we can see each other... This year, right? I hope it's gonna work out for you guys and uh, for everybody. <laughs> Alright man, have a last day and Schöne Gruß an deine bessere Hälfte. Thanks for your support. What is this? I don't get the intro of this song. Like the, the song itself is kind of good, but intro is like so random <laughs> yo Igor how are you man <laughs> you don't like this one all right good evening good evening Means five dollars out for a walk. Not yet. I need to invest into actual good stuff, right? Like either Wind Devil or Thermod Moments. I think I'm gonna prefer Wind Devils for leveling, actually. I mean, I kinda need both, right? But I should also go for Oak Skin, right? So. Like, Oak Skin is just too good not to use it while leveling. Is so this the Stormrun build? It's gonna be a Stormrun build, yeah. Once I have the weapon, once this guy is level 94, um, yeah, yeah, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually play Prana Strike or not. Maybe as like a supportive skill, but like the main damage is probably gonna be slow jacks. That's at least the idea. You didn't know the meaning of that message? I mean it's basically basically means to like skip meme songs. That's what it's for. And yeah, this is yet another new character. New weak, new character, right? And this guy's gonna kill me, kill me maybe? Let's see. Hopefully not right. We should be a little bit careful around this guy. Nicolas Balthazar is always... One of the hardest bosses, actually. Good monk ass. Alright. Not too hard this time. A giant leap ability. It's um, called Vanish. It's a basically level 1 rune that you can buy in the Act 7 over here. And the Conclave of the 3. And uh, I mean, you need to have the Forgotten Gods expansion for that though. It's basically like the Shadow Strike of Nightblade. And you can like buy those augments, you can stash them, and then you can just use them on like your other characters. Right? Also, welcome to the stream, Lord Loudmouth. Welcome, on, welcome. On. And you can do like giant leaps like this one as well, right? With that, with that ability. I mean, there are some. Even longer skips you can do, but I uh, will probably not use them today. On Wednesday, probably. Yo, Sorok, welcome in, welcome in. Doing good. Doing good, doing good. How about you? Taken down, how are you, man? I mean, a turn mode is fantastic. Yeah, everybody says that. Everybody who likes the other two says that. I should try it at some point, right? I mean, I've been saying, like, I should try that for, like, I don't know, two months already, right? For, like, half a year, kind of. I mean, the mod is kind of old, right? I mean, the mod got, like, a huge update, like, what? One or two months ago, right? But it's actually pretty old. Health regen elementalist in the making. I mean, after seeing that uh, Pyrian set elementalist, I kinda think health regen is not a good idea, right? Because, like, I mean, his health regen elementalist is obviously a really good idea, but. He has like double of my values, right? So, yeah, I'm not sure if like my values are enough. Might just like go back to bat, right? Good old bat. Lightning casters. Dude, the Master was at 40 points, oh shit, that's like super deep. Hmm. Mm. 
It's like kind of leveling with the health regen devotions though. Not sure if that's a good idea either. Should probably just get Ultos or something, right? I need Oak's gun, at least a one pointer for the Pierce Rust. Keep your weapons. On the other hand, I'm almost level 50 and then I'm gonna just use Avarice of Andreonis, but Avarice is not gonna give me like too much more Pierce Rust, right? I like maybe around 50 to 20 as well, so leave it a little bit more, but not like too much more actually. I didn't have to dodge this guy, but like Giant's Blood and Blast Shield. It's a really strong combo. Sixteen percent? I mean sixteen percent seems pretty good, yeah. Should be good, yeah. Spectral bludgeon with 11%. I mean, Spectral bludgeon is maybe not the best weapon for. I mean, kind of depends. Like, what are you playing? Spellbreaker? Chosen Spellbreaker, maybe? The thing is, like, Lifesteal is not gonna affect skill. I mean, um. It's not gonna affect spells unless they have weapon damage, right? So, if the Chosen doesn't have weapon damage, which I think is only possible with the Scandra set, then you're not gonna last it off Chosen, but you can still use it for like other fitter abilities, right? Spellbreaker. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna heal off Chosen, right? But you're gonna heal off other stuff like Shadow Strike or Default Attacks in between. I don't know what you're using. And Russell Blade Rust, maybe as well, or I don't know, maybe like Bad Devotion, right? Yeah, Rapper, welcome on, welcome on. And RS as well. How are you guys? Well and Knight, Knight Rise is here as well. Welcome on, welcome on. Also, Ridza, thanks for the follow. Yeah, yeah last year only works on weapon damage. Like, uh, I mean, once a ability has weapon damage, it will work on basically all of the skills damage. But it will like scale down the love steal to um, the percentage of weapon damage that you have if you have less than 100% weapon damage. If you have 100% or more on that skill, it will always take like love steal with like full effect. But if you say have, I don't know, like a skill with 20% weapon damage, it will apply love steal to all of the skills damage, not only the weapon damage part. But it will only have like 20% effectiveness, right? So if you have like, I don't know, 20% last steal with like 20% weapon damage, you will only have like, what, 4% last steal on that skill. Yeah, I could do that's true. Um, he's like a, I don't know, 33% spawn chance, something like that. Maybe even only 50. I mean, or 25, I don't know. Not one, not one hundred percent. That's for sure.
We got internet today finally. Well, you're in Malta, right? You gotta. Wait, what, what? You gotta try to find. Wait, what's it? What's he called again? You gotta try to find Neville's, right? You gotta try to find out why he stopped streaming. <laughs> uh, maybe you don't know Neville's, but. Yeah, it's like a super small island, like uh, between Italy and Africa, basically. Zero blades. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. You could also try um, Seed of Skies actually, because Seed of Skies has lots of weapon damage on the ability, on the pew pew lightning that you can use on that one. I think it deals like what, lightning and cold damage or something like that. Or you could also try uh, chill spikes on the Seed of the Night as like a filler. I mean, if you wanna like. Just use Chosen Sky Shard, right? As you have like a nuke, and then you use um, Seed of Skies or uh, Seed of the Night as a filler. You could check those, those out as well. They are actually pretty solid, like as a filler ability. Well, without any gear, nice. Turn Leviathan. But are you actually using Leviathan or are you using like another weapon then? Is this Barracker? Anyway, let's continue leveling here. We are level, what, 49 in Kronis hideout here? Still a far away, like a uh, quite far away from level 69, right? I will be level 50 before Krone though, that's pretty good. And that can allow me to like maybe do some gear switches. I mean for sure I'm gonna get the Avarice of Andreonis, um, time you don't run it. That one was already a huge bonus, like a huge improvement. And maybe we're not even gonna be level 50 though. Might be close. Wait. Uh, not. What? It was wrong here. Oh, because of this one overmined. Oh, there we go. I have never tried myself a Kazool, but I think lots of people do actually. Is 
not gonna give me level 50 right oh well we're gonna do chronet 49 down i guess uh money bags takes like ages to kill though so chronet is gonna take even longer to kill probably yeah i need to put more points in granada like this is like stun jacks is not good enough actually for leveling or like at least not slow jacks i feel like kinda doesn't have enough damage Yeah, hold it up. I need to get a like plus one all skills belt as well. I don't have enough skill points. Or the points I wanna take. And I need to like fix poison done, right? This is what 55% poison on the one belt. And I have what 80% of cap, so I need um like another 40% poison. I'm gonna get like 50 to 20 from the Everest, right? Hopefully. Not even sure about that, but honestly. Oh yeah, what about the... It's not freeze and pierce and... But no poison. You hate his laugh. here and wait for the gear switch and then decide where to put the points and we're 51 anyway all right uh, i could have went back here before cronde oh well then i would have been 50 at the fight Yeah, that's true, Sorok. Like, uh, I mean, ideally on retail builds, you also want to have like 2.8k away, but it's sometimes uh, harder to do than on long retail builds, right? I mean, this one's solid, actually. But yeah, first of all, let's get a Everest of Andrionis. Everest. This item is pretty good. This gives us another, oh yeah, 50% poison with Aether Chaos, okay.
I mean, yeah, you either want to use this one or that one, not for sure. Uh, Pierce Poison Bleed. Uh, we wanted the poison on it, so this one would be pretty good. And. Uh, <clears throat> That's pretty good as well, actually. Eternal Band here. And, I mean, yeah, anything is better than Devil's Crusher, right? I mean, this one has stun reduction, though. So that's not even too terrible. But maybe, like, Touch of Purity is already better right, for the heal. I mean, Touch of Purity is a heal, right? Nothing else is a heal, a heal here, so... Could just use a Touch of Purity, actually. On the other hand, this has way more OA, right? This one has like zero OA. Yeah, yeah, it's not good actually. And now we want to craft a demo belt, if that's possible. Also, my experience popped with off, right? Demo. Um, they're level 51 here as well? Yeah, this one. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Preserving. Preserving has what? What head resistance? I mean. We don't need that. That's worse. That's uh, worse. And that one is. Physique, right? Yeah, okay, let's just use this one then and then get a solve on top of that. Surf stashes in inventory for not one, eh? Um, I would have said like item assistant, but other than that, I don't know anything. Uh, like, I just use item assistant to like search whatever I have in there, and then I use the uh, search bar over here right, to like, I don't know, search whatever is here. Right? So this one's really really good actually as well. Pierce Aether, yeah, yeah. Give me this one. Instead, and this one will have the Chaos Strike about to know, which is basically the same as before, but it also does reduce any reduce enemy damage, right? So that's pretty good. Let's put this one here. And yeah, alright. So we don't need to put the pawns anywhere, right? So we can just put them into Raging Tempest or Granada, right? use cloud function. I think GD stash still works with cloud function, right? You can just choose to not use the um, item creating feature and just use it as a 
normal stashing tool runs. IA has a cloud function. I mean, IA has a cloud function just for the items, not for the build. I mean, not for the saves of the builds, right? I mean, you have to like disable your Steam Cloud, but yeah, it has basically its own, own cloud. Then, but, oh, that's okay. No, it's nice. I didn't actually know that. So yeah, you can just. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're not you're not gonna use Steam Cloud, but like IA has like its own cloud, so to say, kind of. But does uh, like are you able to? But I mean, how does it work, right? If you're like playing from two different PCs, right? How do you access your uh, GDIA cloud then? So we have a heating ability, right? Touch of purity, actually. Does give me. Yeah, also more HP while it's active actually. Just By the way, who's hyped for mythical apothecary set? That's gonna be a thing on the next patch, right? <clears throat> True support builds arise. Like, Apothecary set is like a, I don't know, like level 40 set or something like that right now. That, uh, it's kind of like a support set, like it allows you to heal and uh, it's like a three-piece set, right? Kind of like a healer set. But like an endgame, you don't really have that. Like the only healer endgame uh, like item that we have right now is a mythical touch of purity, right? A mythical version of this. That's like the, well most healer type-ish item we have in the game right now, right? Uh, we can't see the mythical stats yet because the, those are not out yet, right? but you can always check out gruntools.com and see like the, the mythical uh, apothecary set, right? Just write, uh, like, go to gruntools.com, right? Click on item database and then write apothecary into the search function. Oh, there is empowered already? I mean, yeah, two. But there is no uh, mythical yet, so. I think the end game is something that, uh, great. Am I gonna try Reign of Terror? At some point, I guess, yeah. So we will have mythical? Yeah, we will have mythical on the next match. I'm not getting in my labor with these guys, that's not a good idea.
Uh, do I even want to do the quest on Elite? I mean... I could just skip it, right? I don't think we're, we're gonna do it. That would be so funny actually. Like if you could shoot your allies and heal them that way. Well met. Come with the four, holy shot. Bugu, thanks for the follow. Welcome on, welcome on. Also, why is my cam so bright, dude? Holy shit. Oh it starts lagging when it's so bright, right? Uh, give me a sec here. Health regen added to attack. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this cam... Or like, it is my computer and this cam don't fit well together when it's dark. Should be better now though. I don't know, like it, it was an automatic and the automatic sometimes is just Vega. Did I mute stream? No, I didn't. You made me check though. Fuck off. I just started an elite for the first time today. Do certain areas drop a particular amount of damage type or weapon? Like, um, the thing is, you just. I mean, the game has monster free puts, right? The game does have items that drop from certain enemies only. And how do you find out what you want? Well, you go to Grimdon. I mean, grimtools.com slash database, right? You check out item skill modifiers, you click on this over here and then you click on the item or like the skill that you want to support, right? Alternatively, you can also like just write, uh, write whatever you want to play right here, right? Brown Strike for example and then it will like show you all the items that uh, support a certain ability, right? And then you just click on, I don't know, the item and then you have to like tick rares because like these are random drop usually like greens are not random drops so i mean not i mean the green monster frequency at least are not random drops and then i don't know you can like click on i don't know whoever this drops from right then you can also check out spawn locations and then you know like know where to farm these enemies right um, if you Checked out my Grimdawn Basics Episode 5 Grim Tools on YouTube, then you would have known as well. <laughs> you could skip everything here, right? No, I need the. Um, yeah, this was just a totem, this was not the shrine, right? I need the shrine first, and then we can skip it. We could skip the smuggler's pass. Oh man, hello, really? Yeah, you can also set the filter to only show MIs. Like, if you are not interested in these like random green items, 
I mean, if you're still like leveling and elite though, I would suggest you to still like have them enabled. But yeah, later for endgame, for example, I usually have the filter like this. Right? Always show double rare so that like double rare preserver stuff, like double rare garbage stuff still gets showed, uh, shown. But like for other greens only, check out monster and frequency and like, I don't know, the other rather garbage ones will not be shown anymore. Um, I have still no idea why they still didn't like give monster and frequency, like green monster and frequency, a different color than usual green items. I, I know why, kinda, but I think the reason why is kinda a lazy reason. And I don't know, like things would just be like way clearer for like everybody who's new to the game, except for maybe some colorblind people. And even for them, like, I don't know. It's supposed to be like easier to understand for them, I guess. I mean, yeah, you can also use a item. Be what's it called? Well, if I the Grim Rainbow mod, right? I came upon Color mod. For Rainbow? Yeah, there we go, yeah. I mean, you're using it already? Alright, yeah, I'll get on. Then it's fine. Then you already know what to do. I like, know which items to look out for. It. Good then. I also gotta find whatever her name is again. Dyla, right? Dahlia, rather, not Dyla. I'm gonna check out your build a little bit later around. It's okay for you. You're still around. A little bit longer. Okay. Cause like I, I would like to get this guy to the um, 69 today, right? And uh Hey, the fuck when I think. What kind of audio question is that? Of course I do. What else would you do, right? Answer, and that that would be. What is the one answer? I mean, we need a, we need a question for us, right? Uh, 
Uh, okay, there we go. I'm using relic that gets 3% buff seal, total 6%. Okay, I can back check out the relic real quick. Bane, 6%. Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna use Ignafer's Combustion instead for the Mental RR. Only have 3% love still left, can I survive with that? Because I don't have the good cover. Uh, I do have Ghoul. I don't, right. I would say if you had Ghoul, then it would be fun. Um, Not cool, it's gonna be a little bit hard to make it work. All the all. Chill out, Mogara. Yeah, I would also like switch devotions to include good instead actually. Or like try to do that somehow. But that might require like a deeper um, like a closer look to your on your build mode. Dude, how do I still not know the entrances by heart? <laughs> Every single time I lost one, I'm here. Every single time. Here. How can you be lost on this place when I there it is? Of course. How did I miss this? Laboratory. Welcome on, welcome on. Yo, City of Rain, how are you, man? Wait, have you been around for longer today? I don't remember. Either way, welcome, welcome. 
By the way, do you think it's worth it to do blood feasts on a lead or not? Like, is it actually worth it for the XP or not? Kind of undecided. <clears throat> Harp for ghoul. I mean, yeah, if you don't need the harp for the energy, then that's a solid change, yeah. Arcane Spark there. Always good. Always good indeed. Yeah. Hey, other one. Welcome in. Well, you could change that then, right? you could uh, get spark it start maybe, if you have the freedom to not use a tainted heart, right? On the other hand, like this tyrant run doesn't really take too long, right? Mm. And some of the mob density here is pretty decent as well. Right? Like look at this right? Some pretty alright XP here fighting these mobs.
a PUE stream with a mob density. I mean, mob density is still like a, a term you can use even in Grim Dawn. What the heck? Oh yeah, there's still these port calls here that you have to open first. Oops. I mean, leveling is a little bit about mob density though, like you wanna only stop for groups that either include elites or have like good mobs, mob density, right? Everything else is just gonna skip when you're leveling, like speed leveling, at least. I mean, for normal leveling, maybe not, but for like speed leveling, yeah. Should maybe not send inside as a bleeding dot, right? Wait, no, he didn't have that on me. Oops. Transplant on. Yeah. He's not even that hard to kill. I mean, he does have some pretty monk ass physical and pierce damage. But as long as you have good resistances against that or like good mitigation, then it's fine. But so you're gonna get like what, two levels here from it? Let's see. Yeah, alright. Seems good. We gotta get more levels here anyway, right? There's gonna be at least another level here. All the quests here. So first legendary in this character is Bladebreaker Sash, actually. And number two is <clears throat> Gavel of Ravenous Souls. I mean, that's such an nice item. A gavel, actually. Such a weird, meme creative looking item. I kind of would like to play around this at some point. Welcome to Homestead. Oh wait. Welcome to Homestead. But what good is Homestead if you don't have Algrim with you, right? Oops. Seems good. Uh, I might have some 58 stuff in the stash as well. Let me check real quick. Uh, level 58. Right? Uh, this one is interesting, but I mean, it's not a overseer as I also needs more spirit, which I'm not really <clears throat> too keen on investing. Right? Altar of Order, I uh, mean, Order, Oda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> reminds me of Mr. Oda. <laughs> and the problem is that, like, all of these don't have the same resistances that um, Avarice of Opinus has, right? Avarice is, like, so broken for. At least for speed leveling, I feel like, because. It, Requires you to just not think anymore, right? Like it doesn't require you to think anymore about resistances, basically. Um, what's my Pierce on Bleed though? Uh, I can't use these instead, right? No, 68. Would have been good though, actually. Plus two Granada on top. Man, I kind of want to use these. How do you do that? Oh wait, I have uh, easy pierce runs through oak skin runs. Yeah, alright. Good enough. 
I'll skip the the Legion is split on Well met Cold Samurai, thanks for the follow. Welcome on, welcome on. Order. Level 50 means Royal Jewelry. Uh, yeah, most of the time, but not all. I mean, actually, not always. Not even most of the time anymore. I'm not sure. I mean, I used to use it a lot as well. But ever since Everest got the buff, I just think you wanna like use Everest and then like whatever other rings fit your but I mean you can still use like two piece royal right that's still alright Privyet yeah <laughs> thank you my friend We got some devotion points to allocate, right? Where did we even put this? Moon Devil? Sure. Oh, yeah, and Elemental Storm, right? That's what we want to level as well, maybe. Yeah, Granado, you kind of have to like direct hit, direct hit otherwise, it's uh, not that great. So you gotta well, aim well with that, right? Basically. Or you gotta like just point blank, like face tank enemies to make sure it always hits. Yeah, don't aim like that, right? Just, uh, just hit the enemy, right? Just don't get hit and hit. Alright circle, see you around man. And also thank you so much for your support today. Very much appreciated. Have a good night. Kinda of disappointed from full spread so far, but I mean, it's only 15 points, has like no modifiers on it, right? I mean, it does have this modifier though, this is uh. I'm sure that's like a good or bad one. But, I mean, that's the one I plan on using later myself as well, right? I don't know, later on paper it looks kinda of good though.
Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, like I would more than double my damage. I would basically like triple my damage, right? Like the skill modifier is gonna be basically the same damage that the base skill has on lightning only, like electrocute only. And um, like it also has internal trauma right, right now, and that's gonna be converted to lightning as well. Like the good two hand weapons I need, don't show trip until act 7. Wait, what are you playing right now? Again, what are you playing with build? Like a promise strike shaman or? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would advise you to. I mean, you can kill Warden Creek, right? Act 1 boss. And then after that, you can take the portal to Act 7 directly, right? You can just go to Act 7 before Act 2. I mean, I would maybe not try to kill like the boss in Act 7, that's a little bit maybe too hard in Elite before doing like the other stuff. But you could at least go there and like, uh, I mean, the Watchers are gonna be, for example, in the Temple City of Azure, right? You can kill some Watchers here, you can kill some Watchers here. You can like proceed up to like Vanguard of the Three, for example. And, uh, I can't yeah, I mean, um, hope that you get a, like, the Corvin Storm however that's what you need, right? Drops from, like, the big watcher guys. Oh, that's, like, the worst part thing here. Right, the worst spawn location for this guy, like, right behind this blockage. I mean, yeah, then it should be like fine to definitely like do Act 7. I mean, the last two bosses of Act 7 are always kind of long cast, uh, even though they did. Father Kaiman, it's pretty rippy. But I mean, if you're playing softcore, um, just, just try to kill him, right? If you die, well, whatever. Try again or try another act, right? <laughs> you can ask Mike about Kaiman. I mean, you can also ask my, myself about Kaiman. I also died to Kaiman once. Like, it was on day one of the expansion. <laughs> day one, I died to Kaiman. Before I even knew that, like, Kaiman is a thing. Or, like, before. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I died to him, like, I don't know, like, maybe an hour after the expansion got released or something. <laughs> Yo, Skipper, welcome back. What areas which act? I mean... You just know by, like, looking at the... Forums or Wikipedia. Like, the Gamepedia or something like that, right? There is no, like, real official... I mean, yeah, I mean, there, there's a, there are official acts, and even the developers, um... Well, call them acts. But you don't really see, like, acts starting or beginning in the game, right? Uh, and I can give you, like, a rough overview after killing this boss here. I touched the rocks a bit. So, basically, this is Act 1, right? There was crossing all the way to Warden's Lab, Warden Creek, and boss of Act 1. Act 2, there was crossing to Four Hills, Broken Hills, Old Arcovia, Cron Bay, and final boss is in the Smothers Pass. I mean, he's not really like a big boss story wise, but 
Voldrug, like the troll here in Smuggler's Pass, at the end of Smuggler's Pass, is technically the end of Act 2. Then you have Act 3, Deadman's Gulch, Terran's Hold, everything here. And then the end boss of Act 3 is um, Chaos and Darkway Gate, right? The, the Chaos Gun here. Then you have Act 4, everything here, and end boss is Logorion. Act 5 is, well, Gloom Vault and Agdenborg. End boss is basically Akadzul in the Chaos Draft here. And this is Act 6, and all of this is Act 7. That's basically. Those are basically the acts in Grim Dawn. But there is no like proper introduction for acts, right? I mean, yeah, map is also kind of color coded, so there are some like hints that like show you what what is like which act, right? And also, it has to do with like development, like um, early and like pre vanilla, like pre release, like early um, early builds, right? They released like content. Act wise, I believe. So, like Act 1, then they had like Act 2, then he had Act 3, then Act 4. So, that's basically like from when those like old Act um, borders stem from. What is my favorite Act? Hmm. I mean, act 5 is beautiful. I like the blog a lot actually. Act 4 is kind of meh, color-wise, um, and also you have bullshit Locksmere in there, right? I don't know. And also bullshit Barkadar, right, sometimes with his Retail Shields, or like Retaliation Shields, right? Uh, Act 3 is pretty nice as well. And Act 1 is also pretty beautiful, like Act 1, in Act 1 you can really see like how much Effort the developers have put into like detailing every single house and like lower crossing for example, right? And I mean Act Six is like beautiful when it comes to like the city itself, but it's a pain to walk through because of stairs, right? Ah, uh, okay, we got the last shield there. Last shield means we can just face tank is pew pew pew, right? one is which? I mean, I just told you. Come on, dude. <laughs> and also Act 7 is pretty beautiful. Like, Act 7 might be maybe a little bit too shiny for like a Grim Dawn. How do I know? Oh, um... It's because it's written on the forum, it's written on the Gamepedia, it's... Also, the developers told us like multiple times. But like when you're playing through the game and you don't really know that stuff, then you don't really see it in the game, man. That's true. Like you don't really... I mean, you can kind of tell what like the color codes on the map, as uh, Warfrag can also point it out. But yeah, other than that, it's kind of hard to tell inside the game. Exactly right, we need some cannibals. There are two other groups of survivors in the region. So I'm gonna side with this guy and then um, just try to hope that I'm getting a good metal via the shop, right? So we can just go over here to the Blood Grove Rift. And um There's like a metal I wanna buy here. Let's see if we can get it. So there's like a secret shop over here. You go to this Blood Grove Rift, right, and then through the river here. I'm gonna arrive at this guy here, and I think this guy also sells you Kamen's badges, even if you are not side with. I mean, if even if you're side with Kamen's, you can still like, get Kamen's badges here, right? So we're gonna obviously buy the Vigorous of Readiness here. And this is gonna convert my Granado to like Pierce the Lightning as well, right? 
Um, this means I will lose some Aether and Pierce Thruster though, right? Seventy percent actually. I like I'm gonna be down to seventy percent. He also sells troll clubs, yeah, that's true. Indeed, indeed. I'm gonna craft another uh, Chaos Strike model, I believe. Like metal augment. Use this here as well again. Put this one to stash. Oops. And maybe like respect two points, put them over here. For more pierce rust. I sense turmoil within you. And we're at 78. What right. One you? more. And we're at 80. Okay, perfect. Maybe you get a rare one? I mean yeah, I could do it, but I don't know. Rerolling would mean that I would have to close the game, right? And that would mean that I would not have my potion anymore. So yeah, I would like waste my potion and then don't wanna do that while leveling, so yeah. I'm fine with what I got. It's not too bad. That's also true, you can also do that. Ground Zero, you can also do that. But, uh... I mean, we're doing speed leveling, right? We're not doing vendor resetting. around 50 rerolls to get a double rare, I mean, still easier than some other stuff, huh? not too bad. Uh, five insignias, check. Kill ball bar. No, not yet, right? Didn't kill Bulbar yet. <clears throat> Gotta find and kill Bulbar. It's not Bulbar, but at least it's an elite. Also, we didn't find the farmers yet, and they're over there. Right? Bulbar. Maybe over here. Bulbar. Where are you? He spawned down here. Can't run. I don't think so. Uh, but maybe you can like spawn up here. Uh, let's put this two points here. Even though, wait, uh, I should have not done that actually. Oh well, it's fine. I mean, depending on which devotions I'm gonna end up taking in the end. That was the right decision, right? 
Dude, where's Bulbar? Did we already kill him? It's not here either. Maybe here? Hopefully. Rathmore? Yeah, Rathmore must be nice. Where do we find cargoes and buzzard crates? Um, if you have a bounty car like that, you can just kill the Gryphons anywhere. I think you don't have to like... Specifically kill them in Basalt Crants. Looking for the belt. Oh, if you're looking for that. Uh, you can just do callback runs, I think it's like the best thing to do. Because they spawn a lot in the like pre callback um, I don't know, voidish area. Even though it's not the widest link, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's the um, average realm, obviously. These guys actually have a uh, max HP reduction, right? It can be quite annoying sometimes. As you can see. Alright, so I don't know, the quick jacks, or like the slow jacks rather, for leveling, cannot recommend. I mean, I, I kind of knew this already, from like uh, experience I had, from like a year ago when I tried it, or like two years ago when I tried it as well. But, yeah, I mean, at least, I mean, endgame, it's a different story, like endgame with proper item support, etc, they're pretty good, but like, during leveling, I think the like physical part, like internal trauma part hurts them like a little bit too much. Like you don't have conversion, right? Also spawning arcanes at level 61 man. That's kinda more class as well. But yeah, Granados as solid as ever. You just gotta hit it, but other than that it's really good damage. Good AoE and single target actually. And once you have this metal, it's even better, right? I should maybe like put something on that metal actually. Ah, uh, so I should have put the points here. Oops. But yeah, some movement speed doesn't hurt, right? How much is my movement speed right now? Ah, it's already max, okay.
Susanu, welcome on, welcome on. Quack Jacks, <laughs> the Quack Jacks. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> I, mean, I don't mind Arcane for like Endgame where you can like. We're like expecting them as well. I don't know, while leveling with Roker Sot. I'm not sure if I wanna get nullified. Especially not Shaman, like losing Oak Skin hurts a lot. Right. Force waves, it's the nerf. Mm, I gotta think when I did my last one. I think I leveled the Witchblade with that. Yeah, the Witchblade was like a 1.1.6.2 build, right? Or was it not? I think so. Maybe not. Maybe it was 1.1.5. Um, but like, Force Wave nerf in quotation marks. I mean, sure, while leveling, it's like a little bit weaker than before, but only a little bit. And for endgame, it's actually stronger than before, so. I would say it's still solid and like even better for endgame now. I mean if my Witchblade was Force Wave on the last on the slightest patch then I didn't really like, recognize any like big difference to be honest. Octavius? All oh, around Octavius. I mean, then it doesn't matter anyway, like, the Force Wave nerf only affects weapon damage, right? I mean, Octavius is a shield, right? So, when you're playing Octavius, it doesn't really matter anyway. Too much. Like, the weapon damage is, like, only a small portion of your damage, right? And, or, like, a small layer portion that's, it's still noticeable, maybe, but, I don't know. It shouldn't affect, like, shields as much as 200, right? I mean, also my Targo Warlord is using Force Wave as well, like, Targo Warlord is pretty similar to Octavius, actually. And that one is doing really good, still, so, yeah. I and mean, some, pe some people are saying that, like, Octavius is not as, as great as anymore, but I don't know. Like, the people who say that are probably just, like, I don't know, people who are crying that Octavius cannot do, like, 5-minute Crucible or something like that. I don't know. I haven't played it m myself, so I can't really judge Octavius properly. I've only played Targo with Grenade Shield, and that is pretty good. That can kill, like, still kite and kill Kalagadra pretty reasonably, or like, do SR 66 on Hardcore as well, and, or... And yeah, Mokjogan and Vajra are kinda easy as well. And you gotta kite a bit, but... That's what it's for, right? It's supposed to be like a tank kiter, like Octavius and Targos, or like Targo with Green Arch at least, like a tank kiter. Same thing for Octavius, right? They're not supposed to be like super high DPS both, they're supposed to be like tanky and being able to cut. So basically, one of the safest bows in the game, actually. Chosen Warlock. Uh, I have a Chosen Warlock, kinda, yeah, but I don't have one with a Chosen set. Mine is, uh, I mean, it's, mine is rather focused around Cold Devastation and uses like Chosen Sky Shard as a additional single target nuke. Yeah, 
It's always the worst than like a standard traditional chosen warlock. But I just wanted to like try out cold devastation back then and make like a little bit more creative build. And yeah, actually, like if you write Expansion Mark YouTube, right? I have this new How to Level an Arcanist video, right? And in the description there, you will find the Warlock as well. And also, you will find links to other Warlocks, like other more traditional chosen Skull Shard Warlocks with Sigil as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly, with the Arcan Whispers conversion. As well as like Global Aether 2 code. Alright, how many do I need? Three, right? It's three seeds of bonding. Okay. Wait, Orissa drops a blue Torah ring? What? Did it really happen to you? That seems like a bug. That seems not intended. I don't think that can happen though. Like, maybe you fought both and they died at the same time or something. I can when the Legion was forced to abandon let's I've already I'm gonna do already any bone to you, thank you. Okay. I mean maybe you should post that on the forums, so that seems kinda weird. I mean it's totally possible that they like fucked up the loot tables a bit. That can happen. Uh we need another other seal right there we go, three seals. Warlock, <laughs> the Doom Bolt. Further HD, welcome on, welcome on. May the luck. Oh no, this guy doesn't actually give you XP. Oh well. Why did I even talk to him then? I'm not gonna recover the ashes anyway, probably. Let's go to Essekern Valley for the devotion shrine over here. Oh, that might be a vindictive flame, actually. It's kind of like a retaliation ability, right? For me, like the orange, like yellow orange lightning that sometimes hits enemies when they hit me. Should be a vindictive flame, actually. That's one, right? That's an addictive flame. This, this ability here. Or maybe it's the Wrath, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe it might be the Wrath, actually. I don't really know those abilities too well.
mean you don't deal damage while leveling or end game. Damage area. End game. I mean, most straightforward thing to do would be choose one damage ability right. Max that out to the hard cap. Get the appropriate um, supportive gear for that. Right. Also got skill modifiers. Um, get like resistance reduction, ideally from both masteries. End up only from one mastery. Uh, max that resistance reduction ability out to like the the hardest, like to the highest cap that you can get it to, right? And then um, I don't know, take like corresponding devotions, right? And you should have uh, good damage usually. But, um, More delicious. Let's go. Blast Shield Giant Blood is... Blast Shield Giant Blood is so broken. I mean, it's not really broken, but it's so good. Just really good. Really nice combination. Whoops, we gotta blow up the um, blockage first, right? Vega. <clears throat> it's getting late and still have like three more levels, like three and a half more levels to go. Right? I mean, we gotta kill Logarion and get like two devotion shrines over there and then like make our way to the coven, kick Raxus. Shouldn't take too long, right? Two more points to put here, for example, right? Um, Granada on Ensure, why not? I'm still not sure about the uh, tree of love there. I don't think I'm gonna play Health Regen, am I? I don't think so. I can just come back to these guys later. Right? To get to some colors packed, actually. Like, I needed to get that RR from Raging Tempest, but now I really need to go to 
some cross pack finally. Is Black Scourge good? You mean the uh, pet one hander? I don't think so. I mean, it's alright. It's alright, but. It's not like super good because. To spawn the mobs from Black Scourge, you need to kill enemies yourself. Like, pets are not able to proc it, so. It's like a pet item that you kinda wanna use on a non pet build, which is kinda weird. And in my opinion, they should just like uh, switch around those, like change the prop, maybe like make it on attack or something like that instead of on kill, right? Bind spell to join spell. I have blast juggernaut, so this way I only. Use giant's blood whenever I need it. Like when I'm not uh, proccing blast shield, I don't need it anyway, right? So that's why I'm binding it to blast shield. Right. This prox now giant's blood prox as well. You saw the heal. That's why you put it to that. Because otherwise, if you Put it to like any random passive, then it's gonna like go off randomly, and I don't know. Sometimes they go off when you only get hit for like I don't know 100 HP, right? And it's gonna heal you for basically nothing, and that's kind of inefficient, right? The request to get the movement skills. Um, you can buy like the basic movement skills from like the faction vendors from Conclave of Three, right? Each uh, faction will sell you like two of the six basic movement abilities, right? And the other ones you get through blueprints, uh, most of them, like some of them through quests, like also in Act 7, others in the Shadow Realm, for example. Like some are exclusive to the Shadow Realm, I believe. So yeah, basically you gotta do like lots of Act 7 to get like lots of movement augments, right? A lot. But I mean, once you only get the uh, blueprints, right? And then once you have the blueprints, you can just go to the smith and like craft uh, the movement augments, right? Uh, you've definitely got some blueprints as well that you can like craft for over here right? you will get all of your movement blueprints over here right down where Redex are like all of these are movement abilities all of these are movement abilities that you can craft and then use on your metal and then um, use on your skill bar as well so what do we use for the metal here no arcane spark, that's for sure. Wardstone, maybe? No. Don't need that at all. We don't need that at all either. We kind of need only Peter's right? Yeah, whatever. I mean, uh, we kind of need it for a bleed, actually. It's alright. It's also the soul bond. Uh, you can put it into shared stash. But you cannot trade it. As far as I know. Like it's account bound, but it's not like character bound. How did I miss the shrine here? What? What? Wait, what? Did I didn't I do it? What's wrong here? Dude, I'm too tired. I probably missed like one random enemy, right? Oh, somebody killing me. Yeah, I missed like this one guy or something. Probably. 
Oh no, I didn't click on it actually. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh mega lol. <laughs> Way to go. Took you long enough indeed, I mean you're not wrong. Alright, two more levels. Or rather, we're just gonna go for Logorian and then the next thing, right? Whatever it is. Uh, Caraxus and Agnabog, right? I'll double see and I'm not passing those. Dark Cardix, welcome in. I'm playing a Elementalus, which is Shaman and Demolitionist right now. It's uh, overall one of the worst classes in the game, but I mean, every class can have a good build in this game, so. Even this one. Oh, shrines work? I mean, like, how to not click on that? Um. Run strike warden. There's quite, stuff quite fast. Oh, warders, alright. It's water actually, my bad. Yeah, water is it's not a right class. I made a uh, lightning water as well, but they. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can obviously do promise strike, that's like the pretty easy to make variant, and then there's some other variants as well. You can do like bleed, or I did a lightning cadence variant with like a certain item that converts lightning, I mean, cadence damage to lightning as well. Yeah. Also, force wave lightning, two, 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 two. Also, like retaliation stuff, on like, like tank water, retaliation water. Pretty good as well. And I mean, yeah, the Arcadix, welcome to the Grim Dawn. Taken. Some lag issues. If you are playing on like low settings already, like low graphic settings, or not? Like on lows, it should run pretty smooth actually. Or like low to medium, but runs pretty smooth for me at least. My computer is pretty. Like I mean, it's obviously good enough to stream, but other than that, it's like not very good. It's pretty garbage actually for like a streamer, I would say. I 
And if your PC is good, then you should not have any problems with this game if you uh, have the settings right. What do I have here? I have all the stuff on actually. The third rendering is pretty good as well. I mean, this one was a huge uh, performance increase for me actually. Yeah, I'm playing on medium right now. I was playing on like high for a long time, but then I played fire cuts. <laughs> so now I'm playing on medium. But HDD. Hmm. Yo, those are work one, work one. <laughs> Issues since one point one point six uh one point one point six point two. Interesting. Hmm. Oh yeah, the, the DLC, I mean, the base game is already great, but DLCs add like... Basically another 100% of content, I would say at least. Like, DLCs are awesome and 100% worth it. Um, I mean, the Crucible DLC, maybe not, not, not too much, but like, Ashes of Mammoth um, expansion and Forgotten Gods expansion, those two are like, for the full experience, are like a must-have in my opinion. Like, I usually tell people to, if they don't know like if they're gonna enjoy Grim Dawn or not, they should only like buy the Nether game first. Just play Act 1, like just up to like Warden Creek, and if they enjoy the game, then they should buy like the expansions immediately if they have like the money for that. Um, because yeah, if, if you like the game, you need the expansions. That's just how it is, my friend. Like the expansions add a lot when it comes to theory crafting, items. Acts, monsters to kill, items to farm, replayability, etc. etc. I don't know, they add a lot. Not, you know. I mean, you can wait until they go and sail, obviously, that, that's uh, totally valid. But uh, yeah, if you like the game, you should definitely get them at some point. Yeah, like the first expansion AOM really like makes this game really worth it. That's the same thing for me, like I used to play Grim, like I started playing Grim Dawn like in vanilla and I played it like maybe once or twice, like I played like through the complete game like once or twice on Ultimate as well. Um, and then I kinda got bored because there wasn't enough replayability I think. And then with the first expansion that changed completely, like the first expansion added so much, especially to like replayability that yeah I kinda didn't stop playing ever since then. And the second one just ends on top. Pretty good. I can definitely recommend you both of them. Look at this blast shield, man. It's... Blast shield is such a good ability, it's crazy.
what are my PC specs? Um, i5-4440 and a R9 or what is it called? R9? 280? 260? Something like that? 260, 270 or 2... Oh, what was it? 260 I think, oh man. I think it's a 260. I, I, I kind of don't remember sometimes, but I think it's a 260, yeah. R9, 260. So are great. Good, you're I mean, that's like... The my computer was like, what, 700 bucks back then? Like, when I bought it, like, five years ago or something Excuse like that? My father and I were... Like, all the parts, I mean, I mean, I put it together myself. Something like that. So yeah, like, not the best. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, adios. Sleep well. See you around on Wednesday, hopefully. Also, good night, Kazimuro. Thanks again for the host earlier, and take care, man. She's good. I mean, she is kind of lore-wise. She's good. Yeah, that's true. Speed leveling-wise, it's most of the time more efficient to just kill her. But yeah, lore-wise, she's good. That's true. I don't know. Like when you when you play this game for efficiency, the developers kind of make you do all the immoral choices, right? The developers make you choose like Barahom as friendly and uh, Outcast as enemies, right? Like it should be the other way around. in the coven there? From whom? I mean if you rescue the other witch, yeah yeah. Yeah yeah the Belgrove witch, yeah yeah. If you if you go for the Belgrove witch you always rescue her because then you get XP in the coven. But uh, Anastasia I don't think you get XP for Anastasia in the coven right? If I want to do this totem, actually, no, probably not. Just want to get the strand there. I mean, I'm not gonna do dungeons on Elite, right? Come on. On Ultimate, yeah, you can side with her if you wanna do her quest as well. But like on Elite, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna do dungeons on Elite. Like, not roguelike dungeons at least. We're already 69. That's kinda quick. So, uh, yeah, we gotta just kill Karaxos, then talk to the Coven, and um, talk to Barrowholm, and then we're done for today. Nice. Can I TP to monsters without Night Blade? Well, you need the Forgotten Gods expansion for that. Forgotten Gods expansion introduces uh, movement runes. There are like six different types, with like multiple tiers and multiple different damage variations as well. They're like, I don't know, like, I don't know. Something like 50 new movement abilities for the Forgotten Gods. And they have like three, I mean, they come down to like uh, what six different types, but uh, this is kind of bad. But, but yeah, basically, you need the Forgotten Gods expansion to do that. Any builds for fresh start on hardcore? Yeah, if you write exclamation mark beginner, and then you can check out my uh, what's it one, two, three, the third link, right? Grim Dawn, Solo Cell Phone, Beginner Leveling playlist. I have a playlist around a conjurer, a vitality is, conjurer. That is, in my opinion, one of, if not the best beginner class for hardcore, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Gotta get the expansions AS AP, yeah, for sure. Conjurer is resident sleeper. Well. Come see what's left of my also, if you wanna play hardcore, you can also do, like, I don't know, Soju plus X, right? You can also do retaliation stuff, but I mean, that's even more resident sleeper, in my opinion. But I mean, yeah, overall, sure, there are some classes in the game that are more fun than Conjurer, such as like Night Blades, for example, right? But, yeah. Alright, that's gonna be it for my 1 to 69 leveling here on normal and delete. Thank you guys everybody for watching, also on YouTube. And I hope I see you around on the next one for 69 to 94 on Ultimate.